praise Jesus. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord be with you and your families. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, there is never a problem with our loved ones except the devil. How to pray for an unsaved loved one. Before an individual can be saved, he must first learn that he cannot save himself. People often get discouraged when praying for the salvation of their loved ones and begin to wonder if their prayers ever really help because they don't know how to pray with skill and according to the wisdom and word of God. They just throw prayers in every direction and hope something comes out of it. What we haven't understood is this. There's nothing wrong with your unsaved loved one except the devil. No human being who truly understood the salvation Jesus has offered to us would reject that salvation of his own free will. No one. Why then are so many people still unsaved? 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 tells us, It is because the God of this world, disguised as the angel of light, 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14, the devil has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Once you realize it's the devil, not your loved one, that's the real problem, your first prayer step becomes clear. You must get the devil out of your loved one's way. As Jesus said, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man? Matthew 12 verse 29, you can't. So bind him. Now your loved one may invite the devil back in faster than you can cast him out. But you can bind that spirit and keep it bound. You'll find your next prayer step in Matthew 9, verse 37 and 38. There, Jesus was looking out at the multitudes that needed ministry, and he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers into his harvest. It's the word of God that brings faith of salvation. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 verse 17. So you need to see to it that the word gets into your loved one's heart. Once you have prayed for your loved one like that, from then on, put your faith in action by treating your loved one like he or she is saved. Every time you see your loved one saved, praise God, isn't it good to know Jesus? Then just stand back and watch how things change. Here is a simple prayer for your unsaved loved one. As you speak God's word, remember that it will not return to him void. It prospers in the thing where to it is sent. Isaiah 55 verse 11. Now let's declare by faith. You spirit operating in the life of my loved one. Here pause and recall your loved one or loved ones that you have been interceding to come into the kingdom of God.
blinding my loved one to the gospel to keep my loved one out of the kingdom of god i bind you now i belong to the lord jesus christ i carry his authority and righteousness and in his name i command you to desist in your maneuvers i spoil your house according to the word of god and i enter into it to deliver my loved one from your hands father i come before you in prayer and in faith believing your word says that you desire all men to be saved and come into the knowledge of the truth so i bring my loved one before you this day i break the power of satan from his assignment and activities in my loved one's life in the name of jesus now while he is bound i ask that you send forth the perfect laborer to share the good news of the gospel in such a way that my loved one listens and understands it as the truth is ministered i believe my loved one opens his or her eyes to the gospel has come out of the snare of the devil and has made jesus lord father i ask that you fill my loved one with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding as i intercede on my loved one's behalf i believe that the power of the holy spirit is activated and from this moment on i praise and thank you for my loved one's salvation i am confident that you are alert and active watching over your word to perform it it does not return to you void it accomplishes that which pleases you and prospers in the thing where to it was sent therefore my confession of faith is god has begun a good work in my loved one's life and he performs it and brings it to full completion until the day of jesus christ in jesus' name amen thank you abba father thank you jesus christ thank you holy spirit my friends remember there is nothing wrong with your unsaved loved one except the devil thank you jesus grace and peace of our lord jesus christ be with you all